Hello, once again, welcome to Vagiotech. In this lesson, I'm going to show you something amazing about Photoshop. Remember, on this channel, we are going to learn how to design so many amazing stuff using Photoshop Illustrator. We're also going to learn how we can do video editing using Adobe Premiere, add some effects using Adobe After Effects. So remember, you need to subscribe to this channel in order to enjoy all the amazing stuff we have for you. So in this lesson, I want to show you how we can use the pen tool, the pen tool within Adobe Photoshop. How do we use the pen tool? Basically, you use the pen tool a lot in Photoshop. And the pen tool will allow you to be able to create shapes, any shape of your choice. Remember, this is my tool section. So if I want to use any tool at all, then I need to be able to locate my tools within this particular part of my screen i can even detach it by dragging it around the screen and place it anywhere at all i want if i want it i can just go and fix it back i can also break it into what two columns so it all depends on how you can use it most of the tools when you click and hold down your mouse it give you an additional options so in this case we want to use the pen tool for the purpose of this lesson okay so we can select the pen tool and then you can draw any shape of your choice. Do you draw any shape? Just click and then you, you, you create what you call the anchor points. So this is a point. I want a straight line. So remember if I want a straight line, I can pose and shift on my keyboard. And then I can click on that. And you notice I've created a, shape, uh, a straight line. Remember I've changed my shape to a path. So I have to change this one back before drawing back my shape so i'm going to create my shape once again create an anchor point because i want a straight line i can hold and shift before clicking on this again you notice i've now created a shape this is our layer session so once you create a layer you it will be displayed over here so basically we can even increase the size of the what you call the stroke size so i can increase the stroke and see how this is going to look like we have what you call the fill color right now my fill color is black i can change it to any color of my choice if i want so let's say for instance this is my stroke i can easily duplicate it as well holding alt on your keyboard will allow you to make a copy of this i'm able to use the pen to to create a simple shape I can create any shape of my choice like I said so if I select the pen tool and I want maybe a triangle I can click click here click here and then click back and then I'm getting something like a triangle so it all depends just have to take your time and then you'll be able to create a simple and then a unique shape using Photoshop I can reduce the stroke size because I believe my stroke are too much and then I can go back here and then create a different remember if you want to get a curvy shape you have to click once you click don't leave the mouse once holding your mouse you can drag this way and then you have something amazing like this so i can click on another part same with drag and i notice that i'm having something different something very unique so you can use your pen tool to create any shape at all that you want one interesting thing the purpose of this lesson i want to focus how you can use a pen to to cut image from it background so i have a picture of myself over here i want to show you how you can use photoshop pen tool to cut my image out of this background so with my image i can use the pen tool to cut around my image remember you are not going to create a path around your image before you can cut it you want to create a path around so make sure over here you have path selected okay so we can go ahead and create an anchor point once we create one you just click around the image notice what i'm doing when the path is far from the image you just have to click over to create an anchor point then you can hold down your control on your keyboard to drag closer to the image so i'm going to do the same thing around it when you want to position it just create an anchor point by clicking on it then hold down control on your keyboard to drag the anchor points around the image i can go far to this point and click click over there to create an anchor point after creating an anchor point i can just come to the middle somewhere 
create an anchor point hold down control my keyboard drag the anchor point around the image in that order just to make sure that my point is or my shape is cutting around the image perfectly as i want so i'll do the same thing across the entire image so look at what i'm doing now okay i'll keep on creating my path in order to be able to cut this image from its original background so i'll create another anchor point here click in the middle add one more anchor point hold down control drag it and position it in the middle this way i think this is perfect i have to move this one a bit closer to the skin by dragging this way so remember when you have an anchor point just click on anchor point hold down control on your keyboard and you can drag that anchor point to wherever you want so i'll go ahead and create another anchor point add another anchor point then position it and i'll keep doing that so i cut around the entire image so look at what i'm doing i'll do it around the entire image okay so i'll keep doing that and come here add another angle point add one more drag it around the screen uh, around the skin of the body okay in that order okay. so you just have to take your time and then you cut around the entire image okay so we're done soon with creating the path around the image then we can go ahead and then look at how we can cut this particular image from its original background okay so i'll go ahead and finish up with my curtain and i think i'm almost done this part wouldn't take me so much time to do so i'll just position this around the body so notice what i'm using i have my horizontal scroll button here which allow me scroll bar here which allows me to move between the left to the right and also my vertical scroll bar that allows me to move from top to bottom in that order so i can drag my image down in order to see around the image so i'll create another anchor point move around my image create point where i can click and then add the path closer to the, the skin so i keep doing that until i'm done with everything that I'm doing so I'll keep going like that and I think I'm almost done I'm almost done with my curtain okay so check it out make sure you have time and then position it well in order to have a perfect cut I'll keep doing that till I get to where I start from so when I join this anchor point now i'll be able to select my image and cut it so when i right click account i will just have to go to make selection and then just click on ok so notice the entire image has been selected i can go to the zoom reduce the size this way and then you see that there's selection around the entire image i can just go to the edit and then cut this image from its original background notice the image is no more on its original background so i can go to file create new and then I can send this image to a new background so let me try and put this on a4 a4 landscape so when I click on create I have a new background and I control plus V or just go to edit menu and then click on paste you notice I have this image on a different background I can resize this image by holding the, sending my cursor to the edges and then dragging and drag it outside to resize this I can move this down this way resize and then I've achieved my purpose I can change the background in order for you to confirm the work I've done that I've indeed changed the background of my image so if I, if I double click on my background and I go to ok I can double click again this time around I can add a color to the background so you notice what is happening that means I've been able to change the background of my image i can even use gradient turn off the color overlay and then start using gradient so i have different different gradient options and then i can keep changing that remember you need to subscribe to this channel in order to enjoy so amazing things you can do with photoshop illustrator adobe premiere and the rest i will try and be giving the behind the scenes of how i do my video recording so record. remember to subscribe in order to enjoy all this amazing stuff 
that you will not get from anywhere except on Agiotech.